Have you guys been watching any good Korean soap operas? I'm pretty deep into Hee Jung's Cinderella Girl, although I definitely fast forward through the Young Tae storylines. Do you think I'd like that? Or is it important to have an Asian fetish? Uh, I think you're gonna need to have an Asian fetish. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be upsetting if you don't. Gotta catch a plane? Oh, hey Gabe, I'm sorry. We, we didn't get you a cake or anything. We're gonna miss you. Oh. Well, I'm still the corporate liaison to the branch. You are not leaving without giving me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Okay, you know what? You don't need to make that sound. I'm sorry, you were just a lot bonier than I thought you were gonna be. There are plenty of people who love touching me. I'm a terrific hugger. I've been with a bunch of girls where that's basically all they want to do. Everyone, please relax. I think you're gonna like this surprise guest. Happy birthday to Gabe. Oh, get out, skeleton man. Hey, I need you to get the paperwork rolling on a new workplace relationship. For you? Yes, for Gabe. <laughs> Who are you seeing? That's great. Uh, whom I'm seeing is well, Val that's, that's... from down in the warehouse. Oh. I'm not technically seeing her, but uh, I've seen her with the eyes, and uh, there was attraction in at least one direction, so. <laughs> you know, I don't have to do paperwork unless you're actually dating. Okay, well once this starts, it's gonna be moving fast, it's gonna be hot and heavy, and I don't want a bunch of bureaucratic red tape wrapped around my jock, you know? But I mean, uh, have you talked to her? Yeah, a... we had a whole conversation about Mondays. Do you know her last name yet? Toby, I'm gonna to tell you her last name tomorrow because she's gonna be screaming it tonight. She's gonna to be screaming her own last name? Hey, watch it. Good luck, Gabe. I need girl talk. Did someone say girl talk? Sometimes I wonder if I have ovaries in my scrotum because I am great at girl talk. Yes, I am anxious to get out of work, but let me be clear. It's not to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It's so I can protest St. Patrick's Day. Oh, we're not all my damn bags home. I'm carrying nothing but my sable gloves. I've had it with Homeland Security. And I want you to put all those tracking numbers in my Blackberry. How late are we gonna work tonight? You never know it, Joe. Sometimes we're here till midnight. Sometimes she doesn't show up for three days. Why does she do that? Why does she just tell you what your schedule is? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I could get a girlfriend. I didn't have to go to Amsterdam seven times a year, but uh, I'm young, right? I will date when I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Stay away from Aaron. Hey, I'm your boss. Why don't you uh, stay away from no, me? No, I'm gonna stand where I want, okay? You don't wanna get on my bad side. I've seen some horrible things. I own over 200 horror movies. Okay, that's so weird. Just go away. No. You go away. Gabe! You can't. I need to talk to you. You can't be in here. This is a ladies' man. No. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, I respect your privacy, but I will follow you in here every time you go if that's what it takes. Agreed. Not cool, man. You should leave. Someday, you are going to tell our grandchildren about how their grandfather won you back in a women's room. Can we talk about this later? I have to go. Have okay, to go. Ju just read the letter under your windshield wiper, okay? It explains everything. Okay. Okay? If you want. Gabe! Well? Gabe? Sweet Erin. I'm throwing the Halloween party, and I just want to amp it up a little. I think it could use some extra pizzazz. Okay. Where does Gabe factor in? Remember that Halloween party you took me to once? The one where I, I started crying as soon as I walked in and I didn't stop crying? Yes. Lars and Takakos. Okay, well, let's say that I wanted this party to be a tiny, tiny bit like that one. Just more adult, more more scary and sexy. I will make this sexier than you could ever imagine. No, just well. scary. If we wanted ideas for scary stuff. Ahem. Okay, everybody. Be prepared to be scared. Okay. Mm. Okay. The cinema of the unsettling is a growing film movement. 
the most well-known film in the genre is an hour-long shot of a squirrel with diarrhea. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that my grandmother? What's the story? What, what there is, is no story. What? Yeah, it seems like there isn't a narrative. Maybe the filmmaker realized that even narrative is comforting. What the hell is going on here? You don't know what it is like to love a woman and have her love you back. It is a feeling that cannot and will not and frankly cannot be contained. No one is a bigger fan of sexual touching than me. But with you two, it's reaching the level of a complex. I can think of three explanations. One, you're taking MDMA, street name ecstasy. I've done it, and I know the feeling. No, I, d mm. I don't think so. Number two, you're desperately trying to fit in a whole relationship before Toby comes back from jury duty and Holly has to go back to Nashua. Or three, you know, you're at an age where your sexual climaxes aren't as powerful, so you need to overcompensate with foreplay, taboo behavior, Yes, it was that. It's that one. Yes, number three. In fairness, Daryl did tell me that joke, so oh. I feel like I can say it. <laughs> Daryl's funny. I know, right? <laughs> hey, Andy? Yeah. Um, can I talk to you a second about these uh, client memos? Sure. What's going on? Are you still in love with Erin? What? Because I am. I need to get her back. I can't be alone anymore. <laughs> Andy, do you like being alone with me right now? No, this is horrifying. No, I don't like being alone with me either. Okay, I have to get her back. <laughs> Are you still gonna date her? We're just friends, okay? <laughs> do you promise that? <laughs> yeah, fine, I promise. We'll never date again. Can we go outside now? No, just give me a second. I don't want anyone to know I've been crying. <laughs> Gabe. What? We should break up. What? I'm not attracted to you. I just, I cringe when you talk. I have to be honest. Right? Right, Pam? Thank you for hearing me. Okay, well, this is embarrassing. Um, obviously really angry at Ern. Here comes that quarter-life crisis everyone's talking about. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go. Freak, I need a favor. Well, then you have to call me by my name. Gabriel Susan Lewis. I wish my gym didn't allow full nudity in the locker room. Okay, some of these old guys walking around naked feels almost passive aggressive, but I deal with it because it's policy. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Nope. Nudity makes me uncomfortable. Okay. My gym allows it. I wish they didn't, but it's policy, so I respect it, and I just keep a low, you know, I keep look away. Think about your commission cap as a naked old man in a gym locker room. It seems Andy is the only one with this problem. Fascinating. Fascinating. I don't really see what the problem is. Aaron doesn't even like sex. Remember, you said it feels like getting tackled by a skeleton. Feel how fat my buttocks are. Yeah. It's crazy. Touch it, it's like a warm pumpkin. So Andy just called you up out of the blue? Yeah. He told me you two broke up. Yeah. You must be pretty horny. I still wear Aaron's button dance around the condo sometimes, so it feels to me like we're still in a relationship Gabe. a lot of the time. Oh. Gabe, did Aaron ever tell you that she loves you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she wouldn't even let me say it. It was adorable. She'd plug her ears and scream her heart out. <laughs> Gabe, can you stop talking? Because every word out of your mouth is like the squawk of an ugly pelican. I got a tattoo for you. I didn't ask you to get that Nike swoosh. Nobody did. You did that for you. Just do it. You were the it that I was just doing. So you're dating a secretary now? <laughs> Moving up in the world, Pete. She's nice to me. How's that PE degree coming? 
That's what he wanted to be. His dream in college was to be a gym teacher. Well, <laughs> guess what? He could still be a gym teacher. In fact, we could all still be gym teachers. So let's. I technically cannot. I don't have the lung capacity to blow a whistle. Oh my god. <gasps> what kind of music are you into, Peter? Uh, I like all kinds of music, Gabe. Really? All kinds? So you like songs of hate <laughs> written by the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan? No! Aaron, are you even no. hearing this? Gabe, yeah, he didn't even say that. He's not a very sophisticated man. I mean, he can't use chopsticks, so <laughs> do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Aaron, I've been to Japan. I know how to use chopsticks so well. Come back. One night. Gabe, I Give don't me want one night with What you. is that supposed I've to be? Is that everything? supposed to be?